In this video, I'm going to go over a music player for Linux and Windows users called Dopamine. And if you found the video on YouTube, I will provide a link below the video that has a description of the program, how to install it on your system, and I actually go through the menus to where you can look at all the settings and, and the features of it. Now, before I actually open it up, let's take a look at what it is, and then I'll show you how you can uh, fix your menu if it doesn't put it in the correct menu. Dopamine is an elegant audio player which tries to make organizing and listen to music simple and pretty. Now it can play WAV files, MP3, ORG, Vorbis, FLAC, WMA, W4A slash AAC. So it can play a wide variety of formats. And I did read when I was reading reviews and some people that was posting whether they like it or not. Some people said that they had formats that this doesn't support. If that's the case, I do have a sound converter that you can look at that actually converts to multiple formats like the org the mp3 the flak uh, wave and the opus opus was not one of those that can support and this actually you can uh, convert all types of music files uh, from one format to the other now let's take a look at some of the features it does it's a very clean design I'm not going to read all of these right here it's open source which it's not going to uh, track you and it's not going to it, uh, steal your data or collect the type of music that you listen to now if you click the releases and I do have both of these going to the same link if you click on the releases you can choose the newest version at the top because I chose releases and if you don't see anything to download click the little button to the left and you can download it as an app image a deb for Debian based and Ubuntu based systems DMG executable file so this is Windows users can download this uh, Fedora and there's a snap and you can install it via source code so there's the the actual files that you install it with uh, they were updated last week so this is something that's constantly getting updated now when you install it like the deb file the RPMs it's not going to add a PPA but you can go in the settings and so to check for updates as you open up the program and if there's an update it will let you know so in my case I downloaded the deb file I used my package manager I just double clicked it I put my password in and I wait till it says same versions already installed and then I close this out now for some reason uh, it created it put it in my other and I don't have other viewed up here so what I did is I just uh, if it puts it in a place other than your sound I just show you how you can use your main menu uh, your launcher properties so that you can add it to your sound and video so if it puts it in the wrong one the first time you open it I capture these screenshots in a few moments when I do open it you're not going to see these uh, but you can go in there and choose to show the welcome screen on the next uh, startup but the first time you run it it will have you like a high and it will welcome you to dopamine and then it steps you through almost like installing an operating system where you can customize it as you open it up for the first time so you can select your language then hit the next button then you can choose your appearance light theme or dark theme. it comes uh, automatically default dark but you can switch it over to the light theme then click next here's where you click to add your folder or folders you can click add a folder choose a folder where your music file is and after it adds it here you can choose add a folder again and choose another folder if you have multiple folders so as you can see here I added my folder and then I choose the next button now here's where you, you if you're using it on a computer that can access online here's where you can download the cover for your album covers for your music album so you can flip this on and it will go and search for uh, your covers for your albums. This will enable Discord rich pre uh, presence so if you have a Discord account you can turn that on. Uh, here's where it allows you to donate so you can click here and donate to them or click next and then it just lets you know you're done so when you click this it will take a while and I didn't screenshot that it will take a while to populate all your albums and all your uh, artists for the albums that you have and then when it's finished it'll tell you how many songs uh, by the artist that you have and this is kind of a quick look now I do have it where you click the hamburger menu or the uh, menu at the top and drop it down now I didn't capture up the X right here I kinda cut it short I cropped it out but it's up there but you click this right here and it creates a drop down menu and I you can click on information settings or manage your collection and the way that this works is it's operated by tabs very similar to a browser so if you're familiar with a browser you can go through here and click the tabs so once you go to like the information it will show you the information about the software and you can even scroll down and see some more uh, and you can go to components you can tab through these now the next and in line is your settings so if you click on the settings menu it will take you to appearance and then you have behavior advanced and online and I do have pictures scrolling down it comes with seven theme colors by default and you can turn on uh, 
uh, follow the system theme so if your system theme looks different than this you can click this and it will blend in with the theme of the system that you're using now when you click the add more themes it will open up a folder that has the seven default themes now you can click this link to download additional themes and then you could probably even find more themes online this first one the latte is for light themes so I didn't even download any of these I downloaded these themes to add them to that so once you click one of these links here you can choose a theme like this first theme here you can hit the download button and when you accumulate all the themes that you want you can drag them over and drop them into this folder which is it shows you here and all you do is basically click that button and it will open up that folder so you can add those to it and then when you restart the program it will have you some additional themes and a lot of these colors look the same but when you choose like one theme that you click here it will change the look the appearance and the color theme like if you click this one that looks like this one it will have a different look because they come in from different themes so you can kind of play around with that and look at the different themes uh, here you can choose like your language so if you chose something at the beginning and decide you want to change it you can do so you can change the text size I'm not gonna go through here and read all of these I'll show you that in a few moments but I do have all the pictures showing you uh, basically I like adding a folder like if you didn't have a folder on there you can click add a folder and add an additional uh, folder to your system so I do have all the settings captured out I do have a way that you can remove it from your system if you decide you don't want to use this anymore I do have ways of removing so let's actually take a look at the program now I'm not going to be playing a lot of music because uh, get a copyright strike but I will go through and show you some of the settings here now over here it shows you the number of artists that I have and if you click on an artist and as you can see here it says update so it's up it looks for things that may, I may add since I've installed it and if it did it would add an extra art here uh, or theme album art and the artist along with the album name and the songs now it's not going to come with the songs rated you can go through here and rate those uh, like if I want to give a rating for this overall album I could give a rating here now let's take a look at some of the things here you got an artist which is organizes them by the uh, artist name you can organize them by the genre and it will populate your art forms the art covers you can populate them by songs and it will list all the songs or playlist and I haven't created a playlist or you can even organize them by what's in the folders I like the artist I just like the looks of this and when you play a song let's say for example I double click start playing this you're going to see little lines down here it's almost like a flames and the louder it gets and the more music it will spread out across the bottom and let me pause this for a moment when you go to click the menu you go to information here's where you can like donate get more license information and contact these here's the contacts uh, for the creators additional components that you can go to the websites and read more about the components that makes up this program you hit the back button you go up here and choose settings now for example if you've loaded it see when you move it in sometimes like with the app image version if you move it in the X and this right here gets moved in so you can drag it out you can move it around by clicking on the title bar and move it around or for some reason you can't click there and move it around you can right click on that you can say move it around move resize and all that so that way it allows you to move it if you get if you're not able to click and drag from the top but on the appearance you can say follow the system theme or use a light theme and I don't like the light theme I like the dark theme so if you do like the light theme, you can ad add additional themes to the light theme. you can say for color color follow the system color follow the album cover now when by default it's the blue down here at the bottom so these last several is the themes that it comes installed and then these others are the ones that I install so if I choose this color it makes the theme as you can see here red stars red it gives up the black and red look so if I go back to my settings I can go like to a green and if you hover over it it tells you the name of it like for Manjaro users this is the Manjaro theme here's for uh, like the dopamine this is the original default as you can see here by changing through there it gives it a whole different look like this one here let's click this color here see it gives it a different look then it kinda gets darker as you go through I'm gonna go back with the original default color here's the behavior of it so you can say enable multimedia keys you can say show the icon and the notification which requires a restart uh, show the ratings which is the stars on it so you can go through here and choose lots and lots of settings here's some advanced features 
here's some online features that like I check this right here check for updates and when I first installed this and was taking a screenshot a few days later it, did, it had an update so what happens when you get an update it will put a little notification here at the top and when you click on it it will have a link to the update here so you really don't need to add a PPA I do have a picture up here on my website that shows you when it gets an update if you have that checked that you can actually uh, go and receive the update for some reason I scanned over it it's on my site I wish I would slowed down while I go and talked about it but there is an image up here that I have that shows you when there oh, here it is when there's an update it will could put a little dot the color of the theme that your color is and when you click onto that and drop down it will say download dopamine and it will tell you the the newest version so that way that if you've had that do check for check for updates it will let you know when an update is available and it will say also check for pre-releases you can download the lyrics online if you want that as well you can turn on the discord you can actually turn on information to get artist information from last FM so these are the settings here you have oops, I accidentally minimize it you can make it very minimal where you can just look at the actual player hit play and it'll go down to the next song you can minimize it and so you have a minimalist looking player so it's a very very sleek type uh, system I already went through the settings let's go up here and go to manage collection now in your manage collection you can add a new folder you can say show the folders in the collection you can turn off a folder so if you don't want the folder added anymore you can turn that off and repopulate and remove the music from the folders that you're not using here you can say automatically refresh refresh the collection automatically so when you open it up it will automatically look online and see if you have additional artwork that needs adding to the new folders that you have on here and here's the albums where it says download missing album art covers so you can go through here and play around with these settings so it does work by drop down menu and by tabs so if you're not used to that uh, once you start playing around with it you will now let's notice that you can change the little thing at the bottom down here you can go up here and go to settings and if I'm thinking it's under behavior uh, no it's under appearance you scroll down here you have the audio visualizer by default it's set to flames and at a fr frame rate of 10 frames per second you can go and change that to lines and let's go back to the appearance hit play and notice there's little lines that's going up and down almost like an equalizer that you may see and there's not a lot of music coming from this but if it gets louder and more music it will grow across the bottom you can change it from flames and lines and the other one is scroll down bars you can go back to it hit the play button and now you'll see bars up and down so it's very similar to lines it's just wider bars so I'm going to go back to the default which is flames so this is a music player that's really designed for if you have a lot of albums on your system and like to play your albums it's a very modern looking music player for your system again this is for Windows and Linux users hopefully if you're looking for a music player that you'll give dopamine a try and I hope this video is helpful to someone and have a great day